Welcome to a new question about dermatology. A 54-year-old man presents with a two-month history of a rapidly growing lesion on his right forearm. The lesion initially appeared as a red purple, but in the last two weeks has become a crater filled centrally with yellow or brown material. On examination, the man has skin type 2. The lesion is 4 mm in diameter and is uh, morphologically as described above. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Seborrheic keratosis B. Keratoacanthoma C. Pyoderma gangrenosum D. Basal cell carcinoma in malignant melanoma Okay, here we have a 54-year-old man coming with a two-month history of a rapidly growing lesion on his right forearm, which is uh, rapidly, which is uh, appeared uh, as red purple, but uh, in the last two weeks has become a greater field centrally with yellow brown material. On examination, we can see a 4 mm uh, in uh, diameter lesion and with their morphology, which was said above. Okay, this, these are the features and characteristics of keratoacanthoma. Okay, the answer then can be keratoacanthoma. Here we are going to explain keratoacanthoma. Keratoacanthoma is a benign epithelial tumor. They are more common with ad uh, advancing age and rare in young people. It often appears as a dome-shaped noodle with a, a central carotene plug, as you can see here. Dome-shaped noodle with a central carotene plug. These are the features of keratoacanthoma. Okay. The features are said to look uh, to look like a volcano or crater. Initially, a smooth dome-shaped purple, and then rapidly grows to become a crater, centrally filled with keratin. Usually, spontaneous regression of keratoacanthoma within uh, three months is common, uh, often resulting in scar. But such, such lesions, lesions should, however, be urgently excised as it is difficult clinically to exclude squamous cell carcinoma. As we said, keratoacanthoma usually, uh, uh, usually they uh, regress during three months, but they put a scar on themselves. Uh, thus, uh, removing them with surgical or cryotherapy is important uh, for the preventing the scar formation and the uh, most important thing is difficult to um, exclude squamous cell carcinoma or differentiation between keratoacanthoma or squamous cell carcinoma is a little difficult, thus removal of the keratoacanthoma, keratoacanthoma is important. Okay, removal also may prevent scarring, as we said. Treatment options include surgical removal, cryotherapy, or topical treatments, okay, depending on the size and locations of their lesion. Early diagnosis and intervention are crucial to prevent potential complications. Okay, here we can see kerat uh, keratoacanthoma. We can see uh, a, a crater, a crater, uh, cent uh, crater shaped. Uh, purples with uh, centrally filled with uh, keratin. Okay, these are the features uh, of keratoacanthoma. Okay, thank you for your attention.